What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video. I got a special delivery. One of my packages finally came from Arrow and we're going to talk about this. I got the special edition dual format. This is uh, or the limited edition dual format steelbook for Wild Things. And I had to get this because this is a very monumental film in my life. Uh, like just uh, it's I have really good fond memories of it just with a lot of friends and like it was synonymous among like my friends and I know we're like young teenage boys and probably like because we were like you know dirty minds of course but this was actually one of the first films that in terms of really thick content and story and character development this was one of the first films that I really got into like this that kind of got me into more Quentin Tarantino type films you know what I mean like and being younger like I was probably around I want to say like 12 or 13 when I first saw this and yeah so we're going to talk about this uh, this special limited edition steelbook the contents and I'll show you what's all inside and you know like I said share some maybe fond memories of this film Wild Things. So as you can see, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous box with a beautiful new commissioned artwork, of course, by Arrow. They always do this stuff, and they had different sets that you can get for this. They had a box set, I believe, like just a regular old, like 4K one, and then they had the special Steelbook one like this. And of course, it has this artwork, too, on the center and the inside. I love the, the shot on the inside. Like, watch, we'll, get, we'll show you that real quick. And it has all new commentaries, has new documentaries with the writer, director, producer, cinematographer, all that kind of stuff. Like, oh, it's amazing stuff. And it also comes with a booklet that has new writing on it, too, like for the story and for the movie writing. Oh, man. And there's two discs. One's the Blu-ray and then one's the 4K Ultra HD. And then, yeah, that's how it, like I said, has two discs, all those new special features and stuff. And then we're going to show you right here the booklet that it comes with, which is pretty cool. I like this booklet. This is the front, that's the back, and like, oh man, like for real, this is like a gorgeous piece, has new writings, like I said, has like the cast, all that kind of stuff, shots from the movie, the crew, everything like that, like this is just, it's a really cool, nice piece. The box set came with cool like lobby cards too and all that stuff, and yeah, all this is new writing by Ann, Ann Bilson, and I haven't read this yet, but we're going to dive into this after I watch this movie tonight, so yeah, like I said, this was a very special really cool one and just for reasons why i had to get this is because my best friend me and my best friend when we were younger like I said probably around that middle school age like 12 13 like this film was highly talked about it and we were kind of like i would say young cinephiles so we were out there trying to discover movies horror was our thing first and then kind of science fiction all that kind of stuff was grabbing us you know action movies and everything but then there was a period in time when we started taking our likes and our minds and like opening up our minds to more serious content more character development content but what led us to this film of course is the obviously the nudity and like some of the stuff that goes on in the unrated version of this film which both are on here there's the theatrical cut and the unrated version so uh you know dirty minds be a little child you know we are all young at one point but that's what really led me to this film but like i said it really opened up our minds to more serious type films and diving into Quentin Tarantino type stuff and you know Along Came a Spider and Seven and more thriller type stuff or detective type, type stories or films that have more character development twists all that kind of stuff because this film has a couple twists in it that are really great too and I was like once I saw that Arrow video was putting out this stuff like I said I love their production and their formats their box sets everything is gorgeous I just got the American Werewolf in London and that box set was amazing and this one like I said I liked the steelbook design and I just had to because this is like a really important film in my young you know youth of discovering movies so really a big deal for me and I can't wait to dive into all these crazy special features and listen to the commentaries and stuff. It has like the trailer, all new making of documentary. Like there's a lot. They went really went all out for this wild thing. It's a little, you know, cool stuff. And I want to thank you, Arrow Video, for the fast shipment too. Because it was real quick. It was like within like four days of ordering it. And it was like, oh, package is on its way. And then like 
came back and I was like, damn, right before Memorial Day too, before the holiday weekend, so I didn't miss out on that. <laughs> but thanks for sticking around with me all for this video of checking out this awesome limited edition dual format steelbook from Arrow Video for Wild Things. Let me know in the comment section, did you guys scoop this up or did you get the box set or just the 4K version? Did you end up scooping up that? And if not, I highly recommend it because Wild Things, this is a good film. If you haven't seen this film, it is a good film. It's got, you know, really cool twists, some good character acting in the film. And I think, yeah, like Nev Campbell, Denise Richards. This I actually like Denise Richards in this movie. She fits really well in this movie. Like, she's not great in the 007 movie. We won't talk about that. But she fits well in this movie. And Kevin Bacon and Matt Dillon are slam dunk, too. So definitely a key movie that had that perfect time frame where it came out. I believe this was 1996 or 95 it came out. So it was like that late 90s. Feel, you can really feel the thriller kind of drama vibe in it so don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing on the channel because we're going to be continuing our Friday the 13th series and then once Obi-Wan episode 3 and 4 drop we're going to be on to those as well too thanks for sticking around y'all have a safe and happy day peace out